All right. What do we have here? Doctor, my son has a unique condition. He turns every situation he's into into a song. I do not, Mum. Stop lying. Jimmy, it's okay. He can help you. It's not true, though. Well, let's put that theory to a test, then. I'll set the start of the lyric to a famous song, and we'll see if he can control himself from finishing it. Sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. <clears throat> I'm never gonna. Okay. Who let the dogs out? Oh, sorry. Interesting. Interesting. See, I told you there's nothing wrong with me. Hang on. There's still one more song I want to test you on. If you pass this one, then I reckon you'll be all right. All right, give it to me. And I want it. Tricky, but no. All right, well, I guess you're free to go. Yes, I knew I was normal. Honey, wait, we're not done yet. Yes, we are. Mum, I told you I don't turn every situation into a song. Doc, I don't get it. What don't you get? Well, this is... What? This is... What? This is Major Tom to ground control. If I can cure you, you give me $20. If I cannot cure you, I give you a $100. Hmm. Okay. Well, I can't taste anything, so try and cure me. Oh, of course. Here. Drink this. Uh, okay. <laughs> is that pit? Taste cured. That will be $20. Fine. Well, I have memory loss. Try and cure me. Oh, of course. Here. Drink this. What? No, that's pit from yesterday. Memory cured. That will be $20. Damn it. I'm blind. Try and cure me. I actually cannot cure that. Here's a hundred dollars. But this is five bucks. Blindness cured. That'll be twenty dollars. Hi, welcome to Mother's Group. Who's with you today? Hi, this is Energy. Oh, cool. So just E N no. E. It's spelled N R G. Oh, okay. Um, next. Hi. Hi. Who do you have today? This is Cash. Oh, thank God. Um, so just see a... Oh, no, no, no. It's just the cash emoji. Oh, what? It's just more efficient, you know? <laughs> okay. Hi. This is my daughter, Star. Perfect. And what was her last name? Bucks. S Starbucks. Mm-hmm. I love my job. I love my job. Next. Hi. <laughs> Who's with you today? This is Cairo. Oh, like the city. <laughs> no. After the Instagram filter? Oh, of course. My mistake, sorry. Okay, just breathe, breathe. Next! Hi! Hi, who's with you today? This is Rose. Beautiful, amazing. Oh, no, 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 it's not spelt like that. It's just spelt with the rose emoji. <laughs> what? It's just like heaps quicker. Next! Oh, hi! Hi, who's with you today? Yeah, so she's actually got two first names. <laughs> okay. So her first name's It's. Yeah. And then second name's giving. No. No. It's giving? Yeah. What, 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 what's she giving? Well, her last name is Slay, so... I'm done. Uh, You're expelled. What? Out. Okay. Sorry, I had you guys waiting. Hi, Mom. Hey, you. How are you? She's asking you a question. I'm good. That's great. And can I get your name really quick? You don't know your name? Olivia. Okay. Do you have any allergies? Do you? No. Great, so what seems to be the problem here? Uh, her arm has been causing her a lot of pain. I'm sorry to hear that. Is it the left or the right arm? Her left one. Okay, and how long has it been causing you pain? Uh, a week. Alright, does it hurt if you move stretch at all? Olivia, I don't have your arm, but yes it does. Okay, one more thing. When's your date of birth? February 11. Oh my. February 11. And what year? 2022. Olivia, you were not born in 2022. Okay, you know what? How old are you? She's 21. Hello, doctor. Hello there. May I know your problem? Doctor, I'm scared of every single thing. Can you please elaborate? I'm afraid of heights. That's acrophobia. Watch out for heights. I'm afraid of ghosts. That's called phasmophobia. <laughs> <laughs> what should I even do? Please calm down. Just have a good sleep. I'm afraid of sleeping. 
Oh, so you have somnophobia too. Why? Just why? Don't worry. Have a cup of water. Ah! Don't give me water! I'm afraid of it! Oh my god. Aquaphobia too? Please help me. I'll write you some medication. Are you kidding me? Please stop! Are you afraid of writing too? That's graphophobia. Yes, and I'm also afraid of medications. That's called pharmacophobia. Please, don't talk too much. Are you serious? That's phonophobia. Uh, what are you not afraid of? Well, I'm not afraid of doctors. At least you don't have iatrophobia. Doctor, are you there? Yes, what's your problem? Meet my son, Jimmy. He always raps for everything. Does that mean he can't talk normally? Yes, doctor. Please help him out. Can I talk to him for a minute? Yeah, but you have to be very careful. Hello, kid. May I know your problem? Mr. Nick, I ain't sick. You gotta pick a real slick to kick. Can't you just talk normally? You're maybe a doctor, but I ain't no actor. So please end this chapter. I've never seen someone like this in my entire life. This guy roasts me every single day. All I talk is facts, so maybe check your brain for some cracks. Man, this looks like a serious problem. Now I'm just being cool. Go back to school because you're such a fool. And that's too cruel. Oh my god, stop. He's your doctor. My time's just turning into a crime. You're boring because you can't even rhyme. Do you really think I can't rap? You can't beat my rap even if you get your own. Are you mad? Cause you talk in a loud tone. My rhymes hit you harder than a train. Too bad you don't have a brain. You can't rap. Pass me my egg roll rap. See you later, you deadly alligator. I'm really sorry, doctor. We're leaving. Alright, chap. I had fun with the rap. Give her a map cause she don't have the app. And you're getting a slap. Four men are in the hospital waiting room because their wives are having babies. A nurse goes up to the first guy and says, Congratulations, you're a father of twins. The man says, That's a crazy coincidence. I work for the Minnesota Twins. The nurse says to the second guy, Congratulations, you're the father of triplets. The man says, That's a crazy coincidence. I work for the 3M company. The nurse tells the third guy, Congratulations, you're the father of quadruplets. The man says that's a strange coincidence, I work for the Four Seasons Hotel. The last man is freaking out and banging his head against the wall. The nurse asked him, what's wrong, are you okay? He said, no, I'm screwed, I work for 7up. Oh my god, it's a beautiful baby boy. Did you have a name in mind? Grey Couch. Did you say Grey Couch? Yes, Grey Couch. Grey Couch? Yeah. Is that the... First name or? Oh my god, a beautiful baby girl. What's her name? Febreze. Febreze? Yes, Febreze. Come on, think about the baby. They're gonna be talking about her. Alright, have a good life, Febreze. What's his name? 350 Oven. No. No, I'm not naming this baby 350 Oven. 350 no. Oven. Mm -mm. That's her baby, though. I don't care. Aww, what's her name? The light that shines bright. <laughs> the light that shines bright. That's a statement. Come, come on, man. You, you got the baby. Mom, you can't do this. Please don't leave me. I'm sorry. I tried my best. Doctor, please save my mom. There's nothing I can do now. Unfortunately, we have to accept the truth and move on. Just before we leave, can I try one more thing? Uh, sure. Suppose you can try. Thank God. Mom, after you're gone, I won't be doing any of my homework. I can finally play video games all day long. I'll quit school forever. I can use my phone without any screen time. Doctor, can you turn on all the lights? Because who cares about electricity? Uh, okay, I understand. Two plus two is five, and three times four is six. Oh, enough! How dare you! Ha <laughs> ha, there we go! Wow, this is incredible. If you were a doctor, you could have saved me. I mean, your daughter saved you. This can't be real. Told ya, I don't have to be a doctor. Nope, bye, I'm dead. Ooh. Are you serious? Hi, Benita. Hola, doctor. How are you feeling today? My back hurts, and my neck hurts. Any allergies? Yeah, peanuts, pollen, and my husband. 
Any surgeries or medical conditions? Mm -hmm. I have this condition where I'm always right, and he has a condition where he's always stupid. I'm sorry? Why are you apologizing? Oh, uh, I'm not. My husband never apologizes. Can we please just focus on your health and not your marriage? No problem. Thank you. My husband never says thank you. I cook, buy the groceries, take care of the house, and nada. So you don't smoke? Every once in a while. Excuse me? I'm joking. It's a joke. Um, okay. My husband never appreciates my jokes. No sense of humor. Is that another joke? No. But do you want to hear one? No. Why is a doctor always so calm? <sighs> Why? Because he has a lot of patience. <laughs> Dr. Kim, your 10 o'clock's here. Okay. By the way, they're an 18-year-old Gen Z. Oh, Gen Z? Bet. Hey, Marie, my bestie. How's the vibes been? I have this migraine that's slow-key killing me. Ooh, that's an L. Are you having any nausea? No, but I'm feeling kind of anxious. Ooh, that's sus. Literally in my unwell era. For real? It's giving migraine. Oh my gosh, cringe. It's affecting my riz. You know, mental health is really important, so I'm going to give you some Tylenol and a few days off so you can take some W's. Slay! It'll be $300.